everybody, Alex Camilio here, CEO of the Agent Inner Circle with AgentInnerCircle.com. And this week we are coming to you with some ways that you can wow, that's right, I said wow prospective buyers and sellers when it's time to get that listing or get that buyer to work with you. So we're gonna break it down into four steps today, but there is a ton more information in the article itself, so I would suggest going over there, but I'm gonna do my best today to break this down into a short video for you, all right? So we're gonna wow our clients, we're gonna put that right up top, and that's our goal, all right? Now we talked about this a little bit last week, but we wanna continue on to it this week, which is the first thing that you need to do to wow your clients is to guess what? focus on them specifically. If you come to them with something out of the box or something that might, you know, not necessarily be focused on the client themselves, it's going to read that way. It's going to read like you're just giving them some packaging like you'd give to everybody else. So do some things up front. Maybe look up some information about the history of that home being sold before. Maybe even drive past and take a picture of the house just to sort of give you an idea of the landscape and, and what you're walking into. Don't let that first time that you're talking with a buyer or with a seller be the first time you're getting information on that subject. All right, so that's number one. Number two is even when you're focusing on a client, even when all the things that you're doing are really focused on them. That doesn't necessarily mean you're going to get the listing or you're going to get that buyer to work with you. So the next thing you need to do is create some sort of extreme differentiator between you and everybody else out there. And I say extreme differentiator very purposefully because what you want to do is you want to create a unique selling proposition. All right. So number two, we're going to write USP unique selling proposition. And what I mean by that is that not every house is going to be marketed the same way, just like not every buyer is going to be worked with in the same manner. So let's give an example of what this means. A unique selling proposition might just, you know, average agent, somebody out there who doesn't really know about this, isn't standing out, might just list all the features of the homes. And one of those features might be a security system. Great, it's another feature that might sell the home. Where you stand out is you turn that feature into a benefit. So let's say there's a, a 22 uh, item security system that's set up for that house. Well, you don't just list that as a feature, you then talk about how that 22 point security system adds feelings of comfort and security for those late nights when, when a wife or a husband might not be home or family might not be home or whatever it might be, it feels more secure and becomes a benefit. Okay. That's for, that's for a seller and selling a home. There are lots of others. There's more in the article. So definitely go over there and check that out. But there are a lot of different ways that you can become very unique right? Unique seller proposition. And that means unique to you and what you're bringing to the table to either that seller or that buyer. Now, the third one, and we've talked about this before too, but let's cover it again, which is set expectations, but then exceed those expectations. So I'm going to write that right here, right? Exceed expectations. Okay. And what we want to do there is when the first time we sit down with a buyer or a seller, we want to have a conversation with them about what they should be expecting from their side. Okay. From their side of the table. And then we want to exceed those expectations. So we want to make sure that we're, whatever expectations we're setting are realistic expectations and something that we feel like we can exceed and get over that hurdle to make sure that client feels like you're going above and beyond for them because that's how you make clients for life, which is brings me to my last point, which is down here. We're going to say follow up. Now we're going to cover more on this next week. We've covered some of this stuff before there's more in the article, but following up with folks that you currently want to work with, or even just keeping them in your sphere and following up with them on a monthly basis. 21 days is, is around what the marketing institutes and so on say is the minimum 21 days, right? 
you want to make sure that you're following up with these folks because a lot of times you can get more business from that same sphere of influence who you've already stood out to or in a better sense have them refer clients to you because when they talk about you and you've gone above and beyond just like we've talked about here guess what that's the reputation that you're gonna have so that being said let's cover it again we want to wow these prospective buyers and sellers so what are we gonna do we're gonna first focus on the client second we're gonna come up with that unique selling proposition why we're different than everybody else in the market Three, we're going to exceed expectations. So we're going to accept those expectations to start and then make sure that we exceed them. And fourth, we always want to make sure following up is a absolute priority in what you're doing. All right. So while the client focus on them, build a unique selling proposition, exceed expectations. And last but not least, follow up. This has been Alex Camilio, CEO of the Agent Inner Circle with AgentInnerCircle.com. Please give us the like, the subscribe, the share, the all of that good stuff. If you're on YouTube or on Facebook, the link to the article will be in the description um, or in comments below. So pretty please go over, check out the article. It is really awesome. And if you think there was some good information in here, wait till you get over there and actually read it. Where we're giving some stuff away for you to uh, put right into your business. So once again, Alex Camilio, CEO of the Agent Inner Circle with AgentInnerCircle.com. Thank you for joining us and I hope you have a wonderful day.